But this morning I'm in Coventry and I'm here to see a border collie called Thor and he's got a really strange compulsion. Whilst he might be named after the god of thunder, Thor is a lot more like Narcissus, obsessed with his own reflection. Oh, there you are. What are you doing? Hey, come here. Thor, come here. Come here a minute, look at me. Look at me. If we let him, this would be 24 hours a day, every day. I'm just gonna turn this around because I can't bear with him just standing and staring at himself. Thor will stare at himself in anything reflective, picture frames, the oven, the television's back patio door, anything he can see a reflection in, he will. Three-year-old Thor's behaviour started a year ago, and no matter what Kirsty and Rory do... Thor! ..they can't break the spell. He's just not interested. We've sort of lost the dog, haven't we? Yeah, his personality is completely different to before Loki arrived. Thor was a happy and well-adjusted dog, but Kirsty and Rory thought he'd like company, so brought in Loki. Since then, he's shunned the family, and they think that his inner turmoil at being ousted by Loki is causing this silent protest. Bringing Loki in is obviously what's made Thor go like this. Thor! Come here! Up, up, up. Yeah! Oh. That was, what, less than five seconds, yeah, and he's, he's gone again. It's really tough seeing him so stressed. You don't want to see any animal going through that. Thor, so that's enough. Come on, buddy. When he's at his worst, it breaks my heart. The physical upset that you can see the dog going through is then just mirrored by Kirsty. And if it's stressing us and stressing me this bad, how the hell does he feel? And the couple are going to extreme lengths as they desperately try to get Thor to re-engage with them. You need to turn those frames around as well. Yeah, I'll have to... Yeah, I'll, he's going to stop. You'll have to drop that down, cos yeah. he'll be able to see it at the bottom of the void. Literally, the only way we get any peace in this house is by covering everything yeah. over. Yeah. And then he goes straight to the kitchen unit. Like, you cover everything up in here, and now he's gone out there. Well, you have to, we just have to shut the back door and shut the, shut the curtains as well, then. We've literally punched ourselves into darkness. Is there any way we can deal with it, though? I really don't know what to do. I don't know how much longer we can carry on. Neither of the dogs are going anywhere. They're both staying, they both stay for good. I want nothing more to be able to have a cuddle and can't because you, this is his life. I don't think any dog should feel like that. Um, it's particularly heartbreaking because I, I know that I've done this to him. Come here, Thor. Now, I think Thor's behaviour is, you know, potentially it's a big deal because Border Collies are, um, I mean, they're lovely, they can be very loving. Um, also a little bit bonkers, if I'm honest. They can sometimes be neurotic. I can't remember I've ever seen one just stock still looking at himself in the mirror all the time. I'd really like to get my old dog back, you know? I'd like to have him back being the dog that he was. Hello, hello Kirsty. Hi. Nice hello. <laughs> hello. Hello, hello, hello. You're come nice. In. Shall I come in? Yeah, come on in. No. Hello. Well, you're not Thor, are you? Who are you? <laughs> That's Loki. <laughs> Loki. Hello, Loki. You're a bundle of fun, you are. Meanwhile, Thor over there. He's doing his thing, isn't yeah. he? Yeah. And that's what he does. So the first thing he did was go straight over yeah, there. Yeah, literally and... not even interested in it. So he's just else. looking at himself. Who came first then? Was it Thor? Thor. Yeah. Right. And, and he has only started doing this since we've had him. Right. Okay. So what was Thor like before Loki came along? He was a fun-loving, you know, centre of attention dog. Yeah, it was no no trouble at all. Uh, how is this making you feel? Stressed. Yeah. <laughs> really stressed. I can see that Kirsty's really quite upset by this because, you know, she said she feels guilty. Um, she's kind of messed up Thor's life by getting Loki, but I feel sorry for her. Well, I can't fix the problem until I understand what's going on in Thor's head. And to get inside Thor's head, Graham's rigged up remote cameras to gain an understanding of his reflective obsession. Thor, on your bed. Go on, on your bed. Sit down. So he's on his bed, giving a little tickle, which is quite nice. 
Literally, as soon as Rory stood up, then Thor went, right, I'll go back to my reflection. Yeah, you see, things aren't what they seem here. He's not sort of straight on looking at a mirror. He's actually looking at an angle, doing it again. Collies do stare quite a lot. They stare to get what they want. And he's staring at them, just not directly. Whilst Kirsty and Rory believed that Thor was obsessing over his own reflection, Graham doesn't, and he wants to prove it. I'm, what I'm trying to do here is sort of isolate where the problem is. So if we take Rory out of the situation, have we still got a problem? Rory, do you want to come up? Yep, no problem. You do sit. Sit. It's like being a detective, this. As soon as Kirsty stops giving Thor attention, he's gone wandering off. Oh, yeah, Thor, Thor. Hey. Next, Graham removes Kirsty, leaving just Thor and Loki. Right, let's see what he does when Mum and Dad are out. Well, he's pacing about a bit. <laughs> it's a different picture altogether. This is what I thought might happen. There's no people in the room anymore, and he stopped looking at reflections. Now, here's the big thing. He ain't looking at himself in the mirrors. He's staring at you. <laughs> no. Yeah. No way. He is. <laughs> as soon as you're both out of the equation, like that, he stopped looking at the reflection. Gosh. Wow. <laughs> wow. It's all about attention seeking. What he's done is he's discovered a new way of getting the attention that drained away when Loki turned up. So he's really clever. I'd have never had that. I'd have never got to there. That is that he's, is a million miles so away. He's so smart, though, isn't he? <laughs> now he's been playing you. Yeah, that's really interesting. Border collies, one of the ways they get sheep to move is to stare. They freeze, and if you stare at a sheep long enough, it gets spooked and it moves, and then it's like, right, off we go. OK, so we're not terrible owners, then. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're just sheep. <laughs> yeah. Essentially, yeah. Well, in his head. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's like, come on, play the game. Wow. That's amazing, that, that is, I've never thought of that's it that quite... way. <laughs> I don't think I've ever had a reaction like that. Um, Rory was literally, no, really? So, yeah, good old Thor. He's been playing him for a year. That makes me feel so relieved because this whole time I've been blaming myself for getting another dog, bringing another dog into the house, and we've been fretting that he's stressed about this, that or the other. He's just trying to get our attention, basically. Graham's solution to unpicking this deep-rooted behaviour is shockingly simple. You know, before when we were having a chat and you said, we, we've tried everything, the one thing you've not tried is do nothing. No. No. Graham believes that by actively ignoring Thor's behaviour, he'll soon get the message that he won't get attention from it and get bored of his own face. So as long as he's looking in the reflection like that, don't even look at him. Yeah. And when he looks at them instead... But if he does this... Praise. Good boy. Yeah. Good boy. Good boy. Now, he's gone back to the reflection. Doing nothing may sound easy, but Kirsty and Rory's behaviour is just as ingrained as Thor's. Can they resist the temptation? So hard not to look at him. <laughs> Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good lad. After just a few minutes, there's signs Graham's technique is working. Hey, Good boy. Come here. Come yeah. Now he's thinking. Yeah, he's got a choice to make now. Let's see what he does. Good boy. Now he made the wrong choice, but that's okay. You could see the thinking there, couldn't you? But Thor's not about to give up his game of stare so easily. I've noticed he's coming further away from it when he's doing it as well. To try and get more attention, so isn't it? It's like negotiating. And it's obvious he doesn't like being ignored. What's he going to do now? He's barking, right? OK, well, that ain't going to work either. Ignore him. That's it. He's getting desperate. Yeah. Yeah, see? He doesn't know what to do now. That literally was, look, I'm barking, you have to do something. The problem is, at this stage, if he'd been doing it for this long, we'd be shouting at each other. Hey, Good boy. Come, come on, then. Yeah. Look at that. Good, Good boy. Lads. How much quicker is it now, though, eh? Yeah. yeah, it's, like, seconds rather than what feels like hours. Mm, look at that. Good boy. 
He literally Good walked boy. up to the cabinet, took Good one look boy. and went, what am I doing? Good boy. Well done. Suddenly, there's a breakthrough. Yeah. Great, Good here we go. For the first time in a year, Thor has left his reflection behind him and rejoined the family. This is just completely unheard of. Yeah. Once so obsessed with reflections, Thor would barely acknowledge anyone, but with Graham's help, he's rejoined his family. It really is amazing. I never thought I'd get him back in such a short space of time. Rory, you look emotional. I didn't think we'd get this far today. Yeah. No regrets about getting Loki now? No, none whatsoever. For me, it was really stressful with Thor the way he was, but thank you for sending us down the correct path. Yeah, you're welcome. We're super grateful. Thank, thank you. you. Good boy. You know, this was really one of a kind. It, it can be quite an emotional job doing this, and there was a couple of moments there at the end, watching them all on the settee, where you're like, oh, this is, this is really lovely.